ATF outside, nigga. They got me. I'm innocent, nigga. I ain't do shit. Fuck it. I'm gonna take it on the chin like a man, nigga. Here I come, nigga. Hold me down, nigga. For real, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I love y'all, nigga. Love you too, bro. This your boy DJ. And I'm saying now, um, a man that was added to the Michigan's most wanted list was actually captured. Now, he goes by the name of Cordell Jones, otherwise known as Yeye Jordan. Now, apparently, he was wanted in connection with a murder that happened at a club on September 20th that killed one guy and injured several others. Now, the thing is, they finally found this guy, and apparently, this guy has been on the run or has been on the loose since that date. So, it's been almost a month. Now, they actually found this guy, and they found him within an apartment building. Now, if you guys don't know, Yeah, yeah Jordan's a pretty popular, known person within Detroit. He's a local block legend. But unbeknownst to most fans and most supporters and most well-wishers and family members, police was looking for this Negro for almost a month. Now, they were trying to find wherever the fuck he was, and they couldn't. However, however, we know that nothing helps the cops do their job to the best of their ability, like social media. Now, apparently, while being on the run, this guy, Ye Ye Jordan, he was tweeting a whole lot of shit. And you can check his Twitter timeline. He ain't been lacking with his tweets. He been tweeting every type of shit. Now, one of his finest tweets is gang in this bitch. Gang in this bitch. <laughs> Poetic justice. Along with tweets that even included real street nigga, I guess I was mold different. And also, cross me, we'll see. Let's call it a suicide. Now, ladies and gentlemen, along with the tweets, of course, he had some nice songs. Yeah, listen, he had some heat. Speaker knockers, he was really killing it out here. Now he had some of his finest songs. Uh, they were called "Strapped," "Leave a Nigga Missing," and "Everybody Getting Shot." <laughs> God damn! Now it's no surprise that if this guy was wanted, he kept tweeting. He was on a fugitives list. They were looking for him, yet he was giving no fucks. Still on social media, all his songs and song titles is pretty much depicting murder. He's being sought after for murder. And also in all his videos, he has a unlimited supply of guns. Now, I don't need to do the math. I don't need to connect four. You see what happened, right? You don't? Y you see what happened? The police were looking for you. And to keep it real, they even got an Instagram video of him actually being arrested. Because you know what? Nothing going to get more likes and retweets until you're really booked for murder. The time when they put the handcuffs on you, you get that video? Who? TMZ needs that shit. Now it's on Instagram and it will go down in infamy. Now, this guy, he was wanted and now he is captured. So we will see where it goes. Now, do we know if he's guilty or innocent? No, we don't know. However, he was definitely sought after. Not too smart if you're posting up on social media. Not too smart if you continually evade arrest and not give two fucks about the people that's looking for you. So you keep posting up stuff on Instagram. And it doesn't really make too much sense when... They're going to bring up everything, including your lyrics, including your music videos where you're posting up guns, your Instagram, your Twitter, and it depicts a life of fuckery. So what do you guys think, man? Get in the comment box. This is your boy DJ Academics, man. I'm out.